Hey there Dev Squad, Vertus here and in today's video, we're going to be introducing you to Visual Studio as a development environment, getting you set up and ready to write some C++ code for your video games. Visual Studio is free of charge and is recommended by Epic Games for use within Unreal Engine and is also great for other game engines such as Unity. Having a development environment such as Visual Studio is essential to development as you're going to need something to compile your code and and have an easy place to write your code as well and that is essentially exactly what Visual Studio is going to be doing for you. In this video we'll have it installed and we're also going to make sure you have all of the workloads that you're going to need for use in game development so that it is going to run correctly. And then last but not least we're going to be going over a basic familiarization into using Visual Studio and the interface, making following along the course that much easier. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to need to do is download Visual Studio. Visual Studio is our development environment and it is going to allow us to write our code and then compile it and turn it into something that we can actually use in executable form, whether that be a executable file, a .exe, or even a playable video game. For example, with Unreal Engine 4, you're gonna have a window that's going to open up and for that to happen, all of your code written in C++ needs to go through a compiler and then converted into that. Visual Studio is 100% free if you download the community version and is recommended by popular game developers such as Epic Games for use within Unreal Engine 4. Now what we're going to be doing is introducing you to the Visual Studio interface, getting you comfortable with it and making sure you have got this set up 100% correctly ready for use within Unreal Engine 4 and other C++ development environments. Use the website that I've linked in the description, visualstudio.microsoft.com, download the community version, which is 100% free of charge. And once we've done this, what we're gonna do is open it up and we are going to guide you through the entire process, making sure you have got all of the correct packages and all of the correct workloads to allow you to write C++ code specifically for game development. So what we're gonna do is pause the video here, let it go through this downloading stage and then we'll move on from there. So once Visual Studio has finished downloading and installing, you are going to be taken to the workloads page. Workloads are essentially bulk packages, which are going to allow you to target different platforms and programming languages. Visual Studio in itself is just a development environment, and without these different packages, it is not going to know what platforms or programming languages you want to code with. Now for us, we are going to be working for video game development. Having said that, we're going to be using C++ and eventually we're going to be moving that into programming environments for video games such as Unreal Engine. So what we're going to do is just go through these packages and make sure we've got the right ones. If you're going to be programming in Visual Studio in any language other than C++, here is where you want to determine that. So what I could do is select desktop development with C++. I could then, if I wanted to, also take node.js and Python if that is something that I wanted to do. However, for this course, all we're going to be doing is making sure we have got desktop development with C++ and then game development with C++. Now inside of here on the right hand side you can see we have got our installation details. This is essentially telling us what is going to be installed. On the right hand side here you can see the options we've got. C++ profiling which is all good, that's going to set up all of the syntax and all of that good stuff. We've got the Windows 10 SDK, which essentially allows us to export to Windows 10 and, and below. We've got IntelliCode, and then one other thing that we're going to add is if you're going to be working with Android in Unreal Engine 4, you can go ahead and check this. You've also got the Unreal Engine installer, so if you don't have Unreal Engine already, you can select this and that will give it to you. The rest of it we can leave exactly the way that it is. Once we've done this, all we're going to do is go ahead and press install. Now this process is going to download all of those packages and once it's done that it is going to load them up and open up Visual Studio and we are going to skip to that in just a moment when all of this is done as it may take a while depending on the speed of your internet and your computer. 
Okay, so once we've gone in and we've installed the workloads into Visual Studio, you are going to be taking to this page. On here, you are going to be asked what development settings you're going to use and the color theme. What I'm going to do is simply advise that you use the general development settings. You'll understand exactly why we're going to be doing this as we go deeper into the course. Now, in terms of the color theme, this is entirely up for you to decide. Myself, I prefer to use a dark theme, and that's just from experience. Looking at lighter colors with black text over a prolonged period of time, it can get quite strenuous on the eyes and can give you headaches and whatnot. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and choose the dark theme and then once it's loaded up we're going to do some basic familiarization to the user interface getting you ready to write some C++ code. So what we're going to do now is take a moment and jump into the familiarization section of this video. What we'll be doing is introducing you to the development environment inside of Visual Studio, making you feel a little bit more comfortable with it as a development environment, making following this course a little bit easier. Because C++ in itself is quite an intimidating language, and if you understand Visual Studio beforehand, it's just going to make the learning curve that much easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a project and then navigating through that project and all of the files associated with it through the Solution Explorer. So what we're going to do then is go ahead and hit create new project and then in terms of the projects that we've got here all we're going to do is go and choose the one for us. From this create a new project window what we're going to be able to do is see a list of all of the different types of projects that we can create and what you're going to be able to do is go in here once you have restarted your computer all of the different workloads that you have installed are going to be showing up on here so for example you'll be able to find your unreal projects your android projects but the one that i want to work with is going to be a console application using c++ for windows if you want to make finding this a little bit easier all we're going to do is simply go to project type in the top right hand corner we're going to go to console and then we are going to look for a console application from here we need to determine a name and we're going to use the name vertus course for now and then what we're going to do from there is we've got our location you can navigate to a new location if you wanted to it's entirely up to you but for now I'm happy with the default solution name we'll be explaining that later on just leave that the way that it is and then once you've done that go ahead and hit create and then give it a couple of seconds and Visual Studio is going to open and we can finally get into the development environment so now we're inside of the environment for Visual Studio itself what we're going to do is try and break down the few main areas that we're going to be working with. First and foremost we have got our main editing window and you can see all of our code in the file itself that we've currently got selected being displayed. Up at the top left here where it says vertuscourse.cpp you are going to have multiple tabs. Those multiple tabs simply being different files. So if you've got more than one open you are going to have multiple tabs there and then from there you can just close this, you can move them around just like you would in a browser for example. Moving on from there, over on the right hand side we have got the Solution Explorer and this is essentially going to show you all of the different files that you have got for this project you're working on. So if we were to expand source files, you can see that I've got our vertuscourse.cpp in there. And then we've also got some other stuff and you can just break down this little tree and take a look at some of the different things that we've got. Now one thing that I do want to mention while we're here is that we do have folder icons in our Solution Explorer. For example, with the header files. Now one thing I want to mention with this, this is not a folder as such and is simply just a filter. So if we were to open up that location, there wouldn't actually be any folders there. The filter is just going to sort out the header files and show it in this location in the Solution Explorer. You're going to see this become a little bit more apparent as we go deeper into the course. So what we're going to do is one last thing, which is simply go to our header files folder or filter rather. We're going to right click in here and we're going to show you how to add a new item. 
add new item and inside of here what we can do then is we can then move on to creating new C++ files, header files or even classes. We're going to be explaining exactly what these are as we go further into the course but the main thing is I wanted to show you exactly how you can add new files. That is absolutely everything for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Move on to the next video where we're going to be taking a look at how C++ works as a programming language language, but for now guys, stay awesome, keep creating, Furtus, signing out.